It's my new obsession. Yeah. My first relationship with, with pink in general was I was about five years old. It makes me feel good. As you see, there's no pink in the collection though. Just my signature. <laughs> looking at the collection from a distance right now, it, to me it looks so Danish somehow. You know, I, I even, at the end of the day, I kind of even wonder how it, how it happened. When I'm drawing and thinking about ideas, yeah. I'm not really being uh, too uh, intellectual anymore. I'm being more emotive. I'm also thinking kind of globally too. I'm not, I'm not just thinking, oh, can I make something that's, that's Danish-like? I'm thinking also, Bo Concept is, although a Danish company, it's a global company. And the world is shrinking, meaning the languages, even our, our physical languages, are starting to become universal. So we're, in a way, you can argue, losing this notion of Danish design, Italian design, French design, American design. It's all blurring now. You know? And this is probably a prime example. You know? If I'm half Egyptian and half English and Canadian American, and I'm working with Bo Concept that's Danish, you know, what's the combination? If we're all kind of similar, regardless of culture, as human beings, we all have very similar needs, we all have very similar desires. So it's an interesting time right now. You know, the world has kind of opened up in a way, and the boundaries and borders have disappeared. I always, for many, many years, loved David Bowie. And I love him because of his sensibility, of his, his image, how he changed. In, in the art world, there's basically, you notice two movements. There's the artist who, the minute they find something that's successful, they just make one derivative after another. Then there's the other artists who are forever changing. When they're changing, they may lose some of their audience, but they gain another audience. And I'm a little bit more on that side. I was so bad at any musical instrument, so I ended up DJing. Yeah. So I started DJing when I was uh, 16, 1976. Okay. Just to put it in context. Yeah. This is actually my mix. Yeah.